Big win for Ye, um, formerly known as Kanye West here, courtesy of Hypebeast, where they say Ye allegedly makes over 25 million US dollars from the first day of Adidas Yeezy restocks. None of us are surprised by this, <laughs> to be honest, but it is quite hilarious considering he did absolutely zero press or promo for this. This is essentially a deal that the Adidas um, investors kind of, or the board sort of like forced the company to do because they were losing out so much money off of cancelling his deal and booting him out of the Adidas offices. They kind of had to do this to sort of like, you know, repair the bond and make sure their investors and shareholders are able to make some money. So they kind of, you know, they did it kind of begrudgingly and Ye essentially, I guess, kind of didn't care. And it still was able to, to is it still able to make 25 million US dollars now don't get me wrong it didn't go off without a hitch the shoes themselves weren't the greatest in terms of options people that received them were there's reports now of people receiving shoes with mold on them and shit which makes sense because these shoes have legitimately been sitting somewhere in a warehouse um, since Kanye got booted off of Adidas but it does show his level of influence really and the fact that he legitimately might be one of the most uncancelable creative figures and entities out there in you know popular culture he is that kind of big because he did everything and said everything that you're not meant to say things that should get you sort of like buried forever and ever he said all of them and still survived and still prevailed and now he's in the you know He's in another phase of his career where he set up a new Yeezy office. He's got new collections coming out. There's posts about wanting interns, posts about wanting new models. Um, he's in like a particular, you know, he's changed his whole aesthetic now. He's not wearing the big boots. He's got the little kind of, you know, um, what they call scuba sandal things going on. He's wearing his little leggings with his flat bum out and shit. Like he's in a whole different zone. So he's not, he's moved on completely from that easy aesthetic guy that he kind of was, but he's still able to flip in sell over 25 million pat dollars worth of fucking shoes on the first day with little to no promo really from Adidas aside from some press releases, no real push from him either. Absolutely insane. So it says here, uh, because of Hypebeast, yeah, it's controversial statements in the media sparked an entire downfall between the artists and many branded deals, most notably Adidas Yeezy. While Ye's involvement with the Adidas is no longer a partnership, the deal termination has left Adidas with over 500 million US dollars of US stock, so of Yeezy stock. However, as a compromise, Adidas recently announced that it would uh, resume selling Yeezy products. The catch is that the sportswear giant will be donating a portion of the proceeds to an international organization that supports the group that Ye has offended, which is legitimately insane and stupid because if you really abhor what he said you wouldn't risk you wouldn't be happy to take make any money out of anything that he does because it's tainted you would imagine but hey what do i know starting yesterday adas began rolling out one of three releases to sell the remaining easy stocks so far the drop has been an incredible success and according to reports 682,300 pairs of yeezys were released selling 170 0.5 million US dollars in total. Despite the fallout with Adidas, Ye still holds a hefty 50% royalty the Yeezy product sold. That means that with the first release, Ye has made over a quarter of a hundred million dollars. <laughs> From the first release, with just two releases left, Ye is expected to make quite a bit of profit. So clearly, again, it shows he's uncancelable. And I think what should happen going forward, just without, you know, without that kind of troll and shit post aside, what I would like to see is this. If big sportswear brands or big corporations decide to collaborate with very, you know, controversial, edgy, um, you know, fashion design figures, whatever they may be, you should be, you should vet them better. Vet them better. Or if you do accept their flaws, also know that you're going to, you know, you're going to along the way have some genius product, some genius moments that might change the whole trajectory of your brand. Clearly, as they did with Yeezy, because Yeezy for a moment, Adidas was like contributing a crazy percentage to the overall Adidas bottom line, even though it was a really, really new kind of, you know, side of things that they were doing. So I think if that's the case, if you're going to get in bed with someone like a year, you have to understand the baggage he comes with and just say, no matter what he says, we're going to stay in business with him because the business is that good. Because ultimately, the people that actually buy the product, they don't give a fuck. They never have, they never will. They don't give a single F. So if that's the case, why not just keep servicing them, make your monies, keep your, you know, your board, your investors happy, 
and keep the streets fed and then have an opportunity in this very short space of time to actually legitimately maybe catch up with Nike or even compete on an actual big scale because that's what Yeezy was doing for a while. It was actually getting Adidas to a point where they were actually getting to a point where maybe, you know, in a few years they could be competing with Nike on a really legitimate scale. But now it's completely gone. It's completely poop poop. So maybe that's the thing we're going to see in the future. Brands taking more risk, being willing to stand in the shit with the, with the person that they hired who's risque and just kind of ride it out. Because ultimately after all the, you know, the social commentators, the political pundits, um, the people from the community that he offended spoke. The ones that actually mattered are the ones that buy the shoes. And after that, everyone kind of moved on and no one kind of cares about it anymore. So I think that needs to happen going forward in the future. But again, will it happen? Probably not. Probably, probably not. <laughs>